He's a zombie. This fella. He's a zombie. Hmm. 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 You just worry about staying alive. Got it? Roger. He'll be waking up anytime soon. Sorry, I can't hear you from inside this big fucking head. <laughs> oh, thinking about all our younger years. Little Dino was in love with this character. Brad, don't die. Let him come down here so I can chainsaw him to death. Brad, stay here. Brad, stay here. Brad, stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. No. No, 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 no. Look what happens. Don't make him run away. Alright, big problem, big problem, big problem. Food? That is not nearly enough to keep me alive. Brad's gonna die now. Brad, distract Carly. Oh, so I can fucking chainsaw to get. Don't aim at me. Don't aim at me. Don't. Oh, for f how did he manage? How did you get me through the round? He's gonna kill me. No. Grr. Hit him, Brad. Brad, hit him! Fuck's sake! Third time is not the charm. This is Dead Rising. Good old zombie game. Where you get to do weird, creepy things like this. Perfect. Fantastic. Right, talk to me, Otis. Not the most opportune time, Otis. Ready to see a cool dude? Listen to me. And listen good, partner. I don't allow vandalism in my store! Roger that, King. <sighs> Little bit angry. Smidge. <laughs> Just a smidge. The st I love the story. It's very, like, internally even. It's like a, a, nice it's like a B movie. It's done really, like, over the top, as you can see. <laughs> I think it's peak. It's just completely tongue in cheek, but even then it like it doesn't do that thing where everything is a joke and haha, we're all laughing. It's so funny. Like everything is really funny and it's written really funny, but it's from for the characters in the game, it's it's played entirely straight. And it still has like a story that if I was to explain the beats, it's it's still like put together well, you know. So he's like injured. No. He says he can't feel his legs. She doesn't want to leave him. What I did was, he was like, just drag her with you and give me a gun so I can fight them off. And I was like, okay. And I hand him a gun and he shoots himself. And then she cries and she won't come with me. <laughs> so I won't be doing that again. Then maybe I just didn't wait long enough for her to get over it. Like, get over it. <laughs> I mean, I'll help your boyfriend get Okay, so you can't actually save the two of them. I thought he was like a lost cause. I don't like the idea of leaving people behind. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Ooh, I lose one of my... Okay, hold on, Ross. I'm gonna put you down. Tanya, Come on. I kinda need you to pick up the fucking pace. Follow me. Come on. Come Tanya. On. Come on. Tanya, I need you to come with me. I need to give you something. Uh, take... this. 
All right, Ross, let's go. Oh, I didn't mean to. No, no, no. That's mine. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ross, I'm going to leave you in here. And then I'm going to help your wife not die. Okay? Can you please don't walk in the way when I'm swinging a fucking chainsaw? Ross, I don't want to be mean. Your wife will probably die. I killed her. Sorry, Ross. We're gonna make a beeline, Ross, okay? I really am sorry. But she was a bit dozy. I had a big clear line behind her. <laughs> and she instead chose to turn 180 and pick a fight. So, I don't want to be that guy and say, not my fault. Well, I mean... Ross, we're the boys, aren't we? <laughs> Ross, you wait here. Pamela is going to die if I don't go on. Come on. Chainsaw is very OP. But what's funny about the game is like... <laughs> the awkward part of the game has very little to do with how easy you can kill zombies. Because as you can see, even though I have this big cool fucking thing, they grab me all the time and <laughs> it's about the survivors. Come on. They'll wander off and die. Pamela, I need you to come over here. Exhibit A. No bother, Ross. Sorry about your wife. He stabilized. He should be fine for now. Are you all right? You have blood on you. Huh? Oh. Uh, yeah. Must be from that girl I saved. Girl? Was she hurt? I offered to help her, but she took off. Can't really blame her for running from a guy with your looks. Hey. Anyway. <laughs> she was saying something about Santa Cabeza. Santa Cabeza? I think I... Dr. Barnaby, you're awake. Santa Very uncalled for. I should have known. I thought Santa Cabeza was over and done with. You plan to dispense justice now? Calm down, Dr. Burnaby. What the fuck are you We're talking about? following orders. We have to protect, protect you. Protect? More like imprison. Yeah. Professor, if we're going to protect you, we need to know the truth. All of it. Please. Talk to us. Huh. I take it you know what Santa Cabeza is. Am I right? <laughs> Frank. <laughs> you tone deaf bastard. <laughs> Fine. I'll just get my information somewhere else. Thank you very much. <laughs> Maybe if I can track down that woman again. All right, we got nowhere to be until three. Apparently Pamela had a twin sister. That I was supposed to notice and bring with us. I did not notice. And so she did not come with us. Oops. Ken. I need you to fucking wake up, buddy. Sorry, Kent. His name is Kent. Isn't it? Where the fuck is he? It was nearly 12. Oh, wait, it was, well, it was 12. 11 was the other thing. That's my fault. <laughs> Hey, noon. Let's go in and show our seedy picture to this weird creep. Ha <laughs> <laughs> there's his laugh. Kent! You absolute Kent, where are you? Did. Now, yeah, I'm looking 7.97. Here's luck. That's all. Is that all? Let's have one more. 
Just one more contest, Frank. Be here tomorrow at noon. We'll settle this. Okay. Some fucking lens on that camera, huh?